It's now time for Success Secrets, the most fulfilling five minutes of your morning. Be inspired, be motivated, be wired for success. This is Success Secret, and you are wired for success. Hi, friends. I want to welcome you to today's edition of Success Secrets. On today's edition, we would like to round up with the third strand of the series we began, Paul Planted. Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Now, in this three-part series, we've been looking at how to become successful and get upward mobility with the principle of 1C63. And we looked at the part one. The part one talked about Paul saying, I planted. Now, in that series, we shared that success depends on personal responsibility. And we said that everybody who wants to be successful must first know that the responsibility of success rests with them more than anybody else and so nobody is responsible for what you become you are and nobody is responsible for whether you get it or you don't get it you are so we say that to become successful you must know that your success depends not on any other person more than you and when you take on that responsibility you can now ask for help from other people in the part two we looked at the second part which talks about Apollo saying he wanted and that part where we said that it is important to become successful and to do it with people because no vision is an actual vision if it can be achieved by only you and so you need to build relationship with people we explained that to get that relationship going you've got to build relationship with your proteges you've got to build relationship with your colleagues and you've got to build relationship with your mentors so everybody who wants to do well must build relationships in these three ways have somebody who has gone ahead of you in life have somebody who has gone ahead of you in career and every aspect of your life who you call mentor who can give you guidance who can be a voice in your life who can direct you who can speak to you in the face and correct you when nobody else can that is a mentor you look up to them they stretch your imagination they stretch your feelings and they push you to go for the best then you have to get pro colleagues in the colleagues are people you deliberately pick as friends who think like you who challenge your ambition who stretch you sometimes and you think alike you you decide to pick them as friends you don't just fall into them and become their friends and they do not influence you under any false peer pressure so you've got to also choose people who can help you achieve your goals and they are your colleagues and the last part of relationship that will help you is proteges so you have to also bring up people people who can look up to your success people who can put some pressure on you to, to become more responsible because your success will make them successful their success depends on how disciplined you become those are your proteges and so in the apollos watered part you build relationships because relationships matter now today we are rounding up this three strand series and the last part is very interesting this part is when Paul said God gave the increase so Paul planted Apollos watered but God gave the increase so here we are looking at a partnership with God and I would want to make some reference when Jesus explains how this partnership is like when Jesus saw an impossibility in the face of a young man who had approached him and was asking for a, a certain level of success in Matthew 19 verse 22 to about 26 one young man who heard that Jesus was coming his way went to Jesus to ask him about how he can get into the kingdom of God and Jesus gave him the prescription now when Jesus gave him the prescription to go and sell all his things he was not happy at all in fact the scripture says that he went away sorrowful for he had greatly prospered now when Jesus saw that he said then it will be extremely difficult for you to enter into the kingdom of God just like any rich man in fact he said that it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God I mean that is almost an impossibility so when the disciples of Jesus heard that they were also discouraged and, and thought that then nobody was going to get into the kingdom of God but listen to what Jesus said Jesus said look guys with men this is impossible but with God all things with God 
all things with God. All things. All things means all things. Includes your education, includes your marriage, includes your finances, includes your everything. All things are possible with God. Who is not interested in this partnership? Now, that means that there is a partnership that puts you in the realm of impossibility being possible and if you are interested then you've got to partner with the right person and here the right person is with God thank God thank God that he gives the increase and so Paul said I planted Apollos watered but God gave the increase and so if you want increase in any area of your life you've got to have a partnership with God so that after you have planted and after Apollos has watered you can receive the increase that comes from God there is an increase that depends only on God in your life sometimes you might do everything you will do your part you will get other people to come in but you still need God to give the increase and I want to challenge you that get into the third strand where God will give you increase in every area of your life And if you do, success will be a walkover. So thank you for tuning in today. And on Success Secrets, we believe that you are wired for success. It's been Success Secrets with Richmond Frimpon. We trust that you've been inspired, motivated, and now wired for success.